Hi, this is Paul from Embroidery Source and ES Digital. Today we're going to look at how we would create a cut line around a bitmap object. In the previous video we, we covered cut lines around vector objects. Uh, today we're going to look at bitmap objects. It's a little bit more complicated. So the first thing we do is import the image that we want to work with. So file menu, import. I'm going to choose this logo here and I click import. Place it on the screen. Okay. So there it is. It's a bitmap object and if I zoom in on it you'll see the pixelation around the, the outside. That doesn't happen with a vector object. So that's a very good indication that we're working with a, a bitmap object. Now let's say for example that I don't want the whole of this object. I want to get rid of this strengthening your life text along the bottom here. Okay, to do that in Corel, the easiest way is just to right click on top of the image and select Edit Bitmap. Now, what will happen is that Corel Photo Paint will start up and you'll see Photo Paint at the bottom here. If I click on Photo Paint, there's Photo Paint and here's my image. So I'm going to zoom right in. Let me just resize photo paint so that you can uh, see exactly what I'm seeing on the screen. I drag the outside in a little bit so it fits within my video borders. Should have done this before, my apologies. There we go. So I'm going to zoom in on the object. Now I want to get rid of that text there, so I simply click on the eraser tool, which is here. And you can see it's currently set as a round eraser tool. I can change the size by changing these values here. And I can change the shape. It's currently set to a round. I can change to rectangular, which you can see there. So I simply left click and drag along to erase that part of the text. And that's it. It's gone. Two more things to do. Click Finish Editing and Save Changes. OK, I can now close Photo Paint and you'll see as soon as I do that, that the original image in Corel Draw, the, cha the, the changes I made have been saved to that image. So I've got rid of that part of the image that I don't want uh, to use. And now the next thing I have to do is I have to create a vector object from this uh, bitmap image that I have here on the screen. So. We so I'm going to move it up a little bit. Now I'm going to right click on top of it and choose Outline Trace. And in this case, let's say I'll choose Detailed Logo. Now it opens up a new screen. And again, this screen I'm going to have to resize so that it fits within my, uh, my video software screen. Here we go. All right, hopefully you can see everything that I can see now. So at the top I have the original image and at the bottom I have the uh, vectorized object. This is how it will look when I um, fin click OK to finish it. Now you can see the controls here. The amount of detail, if I drag that down, you'll see it's reducing the image more and more. Now it's gone completely. So. There's not quite enough there. There's a little bit missing from here. Because remember, all I want to do is create an outline from it. So a little bit more I have to go to. And again, I need to capture this bit across the top of the 7. Still not there. There it is. OK. So now I have all of my black outline. And I also have my grey shadow line as well. Those are the bits I'm interested in. So I click OK. And what's happened now is that the new vectorized object has been placed directly on top of the original bitmap image. If I left click and drag it down, you'll see that I still have the two separate objects on, on the screen. Now, I don't want to get rid of my bitmap because I'm going to use that when I, when I save my file for the, uh, the printer and cutter. I need the bitmap object because that's the bit that's going to be printed. This 
the vector object I'm now going to use to create uh, an outline or the outlines for cutting. Okay, now that we've created a vectorized version of our bitmap, let's see what we can do with this. So for example, a vectorized object is a series of separate objects grouped together. And if I was to go, for example, to the Arrange menu and drag down to where it says Shaping, try that again, my email just uh, popped up there. And if I choose boundary, you can see what it's done is it's created a boundary around the rectangle. Now that rectangle is the white background behind that group of objects. And of course, we don't want that. So I'm going to click the undo object, uh, undo tool, and I'm going to go to arrange and ungroup all objects. Okay. Now I should be able to select my white background and delete it. Okay. Now, if I drag a rectangle around that group of objects and go to the Arrange menu, Shaping, Boundary, and I'm going to click the Cut Contour color so we can see it. We can now see, if I zoom in a little bit, it's created a cut line right around the edge. And that's exactly what we want. But there's a little bit of extra I need to add to this. Um, I'll just go to the pen tool, left click and choose a hairline to make it fine. So we've created a cut line, but of course this cut line now runs exactly around the outside perimeter of the logo. Now if our print and cut registration is even the tiniest bit out, let's say there's a tiny bit of slippage of the vinyl or a little twist in it, there's a chance that we might get uh, little bits of white showing around the edge of the logo where the cut line hasn't quite matched up 100% with the printed area. So what we would need to do is create what's called a bleed. A bleed means that we make these external areas of the image. Here is the gray shadow. So we need to make that wider or fatter um, and then of course in other parts of the logo the outline is black. That complicates things a little bit because we really we have a two color border around this logo. If it was a single color it would be very very easy. We just simply create the boundary and make it thicker um, and, and that would give us a bleed line in one color. But this is a two color bleed line. Creating a bleed, a bleed line around a bitmap object can be fairly simple if the outline of the ob object is all the same color. We can just uh, convert to vector objects, then use the create boundary tool to create a boundary line around the outside, and then we simply make that boundary line thicker. And if it's a black outline, we change the boundary to black, and we have a thicker black outline around the object. But in this case, you can see that the outline is black in some areas and gray in others. So there are a couple of ways you can do this. We can either create uh, a boundary line and then split that boundary line into different uh, sections, give it a color, make it thicker, or we can do it in Corel Photo Paint. Um, and you have to decide which one you think is going to be quicker and easier. So to do it in Pho Photo Paint, we right click on top of the image and click edit the bitmap. We then go to photo paint. I'm just going to click on the photo paint tool down in the toolbar. 
here we are in photo paint I'm going to click on the object oh I went too far there let's back a bit I'm right clicking to zoom out okay so here we can see an area here with both black and gray so the tools that I could use here are the paintbrush tool here's the paintbrush tool and as I move the paintbrush tool over the the image you can see the size of the of the uh, the paintbrush uh, now what I do have to set is the color because obviously if I was to click here on the screen it's painting in black I don't want black just yet I want gray so how do I change it to gray I use the eyedropper tool so I'm left clicking on the eyedropper tool and I'm going to uh, left click on top of the gray area and I'll right click as well change back to the paint tool and now you can see I'm painting in the same color as the border and if I hold the shift key and alt key down I can I can click between areas so for example when I'm doing a straight line I can simply click up here and fill that area there's my thickened up outline click finish editing and yes we can minimize paint and we're back in Corel draw and you can see that all of the changes that I made are now reflected in the image uh, here in Corel draw so all I have to do now is create a cut line around my vector object I need to create a boundary so arrange shaping boundary change it to my cut contour color and move it back over my original image okay so there we can see I've got a bleed line all the way around the outside of the object so even if my cut and print alignment is a tiny bit out um, I will be able to compensate for that um, with the bleed line that I've created so having done that the last thing I do is select both the bitmap image that I created with its bleed lines and the cut line and then I go to the file menu and I export those either as an EPS file or a PDF file.